So what's up, man? I totally hooked up with a cougar last night. She was hot, but her hands looked like raisins. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Looks like we got a new bunny on our hands. Oh shit, really? Tell me about it. Straight out of college, blonde, ripe for the picking. Man, I hope I get to work with her today. Please, God, pick me. What's up, D-Bags? Hey, one of you guys got a chance to watch my story I just put together yesterday? Ed, I saw that story, and it sucks. Please stop trying to waste our time with your piece of shit story. Well, maybe if you guys got time later. Got the assignments for today, boys. Can I please work with the new girl? Phil, I have three words for you. No fucking way. You're floating. Ed, you're with Chaz on the disc golf story. Where is Chaz? He'll stumble in eventually. Hank, you're the lucky one. You get the new girl. Live shot at noon. Nice wide angle. Chaz, man, hey, where you been? We got a great story about this disc golfer going on the pro circuit. It's got sound, visuals, everything I need for the feature story coming up, man. And I don't give a shit, Ed. But it's a contest. Hey, Hank, uh, what's going on? You got time to watch that story? Check it out. Oh. Hi, I'm Hank. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Well, I'm already loaded downstairs, and uh, we've got a live interview at noon, so. OK, great. I'm ready. OK. Oh, sorry about that. I think Phil used the car last. So, where are you from? The East Coast. I just graduated from Emerson College. So, how long have you worked here? Too long. I like my job, but sometimes it gets old. Yeah. Well, I moved here because my agent said taking a job in the Midwest is great for a career. I mean, look at Tom Brokaw, right? Yeah. <laughs> I am just super excited. I'm going to be an actual news reporter. This is something I've wanted my entire life. Well, you got the looks for it, that's for sure. Thank you. Everyone says that, but I'd really like to be known more for my investigative reporting. Well, we're here. Thank you. You have been super nice. So what are the other guys like? Yeah. Hey, baby. Want to make a movie? They're pretty normal. Looks like they already have the live truck set up. Guess I should have talked more about this story and asked questions instead of talking about myself. <laughs> That's fine. We usually bitch about each other on our drives anyway. You're interviewing Greg Calhoun. He's a friend of Dick's, our anchor. And if he's the guy I think he is, he's a real asshole. Seriously? I'm Jen. So, uh, where do you want me? Um, we are just about ready to shoot, so maybe over here. Hey, camera guy. You get a shot of that shitty building in the background? Thanks. Welcome to the News 4 at Noon. I'm Dick Hartley. We've got a lot of news for you today, but first a live report with Jennifer Jones. Jennifer? Thanks, Dick. I'm standing here in front of the proposed site for the new Calhoun condos. Joining me today is the architect himself, Greg Calhoun. How you doing? Good, thank you. So, Greg, tell me about this building. Well, first of all, it's not just another building. I designed it. Second of all, it's going to completely reshape downtown. We got to clean it up. We got to go out with the old, in with the new. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, Gary, when is the set date for completion? My name is Greg. Not Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. It'll be done in December. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. Back to you guys. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I just... I totally blew that. Great first day, huh? Don't worry about that guy. He's a total ass, just like Dick. I just thought that when I started out, I'd be like a Jane Polly or Oprah. 
people always thought I would make it big and I'm just not what I thought I was. Well, it wasn't great, but you're new and stuff like that happens on your first day. One time I dropped the camera in the pool. It just happens. I admire you. Why? Because you care about your job, because you're passionate, you want to learn. You know, as much as I give Ed crap, I admire him. I bet he shot the shit out of that disc golf story. Yeah, well, thank you for talking to me. I mean, it really means a lot that you have my back. I so. do. Let's get back to the station. You're telling me she's been working here for less than a day and you're already in the friend zone with the hot new reporter? Come on, man. Well, at least there's still a chance I could boink her in the live truck. Hey, I want to apologize for my friend Greg. He can be a real asshole, you know, architect. Uh, just in this business, don't take anything personal. You know? Here in the newsroom, we stick together. All right, Ed, let's watch this piece of shit. Someone's been obtuse Like he had nothing to lose It happens when provoked Like the killer's being choked It's a false sense of rebellion A new way to conform It's gonna be LEED certified and it's gonna be the best building in downtown. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Greg. Thank you. Good night. I forgot my <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Back to you. Oh, shit. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> or wait, Greg! God! Okay. Hey, how'd I get lucky enough to land the new girl, huh? You know what? Take it easy. You might be friends with Dick, but I don't give a shit. And uh, you know what? It was her first day. Whatever, man. He's just a dick. Am I sincere or sarcastic? Okay. <laughs> Where is Chess? Thanks, Dick. Sorry, <laughs> That's hilarious. Action. Hey, Dick. Come here. If I could get with this new chick, I could totally play connect the dots with all the chicks I boned in the newsroom. Jazz, Jasmine, hey, where you been? Uh, we got a great story today. Uh, disc golfer going to uh, pro circuit. Ah. <laughs> disc golfer pro circuit. <laughs> hey, I want to apologize for my friend Greg. He can be a real asshole, you know, architect. Uh, just in this business, don't take anything personal. Here in the newsroom, we stick together. Get it? Wow. All right. I think that's really good. That's good. All right. Yay. So, Gary, when is the set date for completion? My name is Greg, not Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? <laughs>